kitchen's the only place I've ever felt like I really belong. I loved every minute of it, the heat, the pressure, the violence. Authenticity is everything to John Wells, who directed the movie. Cut. And he sought out Chef Marcus Waring and his team and just made sure that every time any of the actors stepped on set that it was a fully functioning kitchen and that we were prepared and knew what we were doing. All right, let's go! Yes, you know, I wouldn't have done it without a Michelin-starred chef who was prepared to be involved. I don't know what goes into it, what's required, or how even to design the dishes. And you know, Marcus and his team uh, designed dozens of dishes for the film. Service. When we did ER, we had four doctors who were full-time on staff with us every minute when we were shooting. Uh, and everyone who was around us were physicians who didn't have speaking roles. And in the same way, everyone in the kitchen for this who doesn't have a speaking role, are, and there are about eight or nine of them, are actually chefs. He said, look, you just run the kitchen as though it's a kitchen. We will fit in with you. So it's not, come on actors, in you come, we'll rehearse, we'll do the scene, and then we'll dot some other people around you. It's, right, you guys go and run the kitchen as fast and as hard as you possibly can, and we'll then figure out how to shoot our scene in amongst you. So it has a real sense of what a kitchen is actually like. Do you know what the best part is? Each take after take after take, they get better and better and better, but they also start to look tired and annoyed because they're doing it over and over again. Come on! And that's exactly what a chef looks like. Tired, sweating, aggressive all sorts of the things that you're looking for we're seeing here because John is just making them do it again and again and I'm loving it, it's great. John Wells had a great vision, uh, even acoustically, about you know once that door flips open, just the different various sounds of the kitchen as opposed to the dining room. He's the coolest man in the world and it's been a really lovely atmosphere on set, even though it's you know very hot in the kitchen, but it's a really nice atmosphere and that trickles down from John. That always comes from the director. He's really, really gentle and cool and relaxed and um, so it's really a pleasure to uh, to work for him and when you work for a man like him, you, you give your soul. Cut. Good. Thank you. Cut it. I'm hoping when the audiences see it, they'll go, oh, I've seen some of this sort of in some reality television. I've seen bits and pieces of it. But here are the real people in the environment telling us their stories about, you know, something that they care deeply about, you know, and have devoted their lives to doing. And I ended up having great admiration for what they do in a way that I never expected when I kind of started in on it. And action. So, Elena, now it's done. Base, base, base. I want people to sit at that table and be sick with longing. And I need you to do it with me. Face, 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 face. Excellent. One more. Right away, let's go.